So, as per usual, the Final Fight of Part 2 is quite difficult and gimmicky, and today I'm going to go over everything you need to know about this boss fight. To start off, the boss has a passive called Self Loathing. The boss will only target Heathcliff, and if he kills your Heathcliff, you lose the fight immediately. This means you must be able to redirect his actions during the fight. The boss has up to 5 speed, and there will be turns where you simply cannot redirect, inevitably ending with your Heathcliff dying. This is where another of the boss's passive comes in, long away to the moment. The most important part here is that the boss will gain 2 binding next turn if he loses the clash with your Heathcliff. This means, to prevent a situation where he beat the shit out of your Heathcliff at 5 speed, you must always try to clash the boss with Heathcliff and win those clashes. For turns where you cannot win clash, or simply cannot clash due to boss being staggered, try to apply binding through other means to prevent any accidents. The next mechanic you need to know here is Explosive Affinity. While I'm not 100% sure how this mechanic triggers, it looks like the boss will gain explosive emotion for each phase, with 4 explosive wrath, 5 explosive gloom, and 6 explosive envy. When the boss has explosive emotions, it will take more damage from that scene, but take less damage from the rest of the scenes. It will also have some bonus effect when hit. For each boss's attack that didn't do damage to Heathcliff, including skill that's redirected away, the boss will lose one stack of explosive emotion for up to 3 times per turn. If you don't clear all the explosive emotion stacks within the time limit, the boss will gain 3 haste and 6 damage up next turn. But if you're doing redirection and clashes normally, it shouldn't really happen. The final combat tip I have for you is just to control your damage during stagger turns. It's always easier for you if you do not go into the next stagger threshold when the boss is already staggered. Now let's talk about the best identities to use here. You are forced to lock in Heathcliff here and he will have Bereavement attached to him. Bereavement will cause Heathcliff to lose 10 sanity points each turn as long as he's at negative 15 or above sanity point. And as long as he's below 0 sanity point, he gains 3 final power. This is honestly perfect for Hobo, I mean, um, Sun Shower Heathcliff, as he thrives at low sanity. With that being said, his skill 1 is quite trash. Consider using Body Sack instead if the clash looks unwinnable. If you decide to use a different Heathcliff identities and you are not using Unclear or any other negative sanity units, you can use Base Yishang and Honglu as support unit to counter the sanity drop. If you can keep his sanity up, you can also try to cheese the boss with our Heathcliff's dodge and just have the rest of the team hitting the boss unclashed. For other sinners, prioritize a character with reliable clashes. Unclear is one of the strongest clasher here, since you will be starting at zero sanity. Also look for unit with banding, either from their skill or from their ego. The sinking stage is also a viable choice for the stage. The boss uses positive coin, so having low sanity will greatly reduce his clashing power and damage. And that's pretty much it. As long as you play the gimmick, the fight shouldn't last too long, and your Heathcliff shouldn't be in any danger either. This has been Steam Ban X. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.